So what, you're just gonna put your iPod on shuffle? Thank you, Benny. Bitch, I'm an iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K and I keep making bang. Making bang. Bitch, I'm an iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K and I keep making bang. Making bang. Every single song you own is a banger. Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K24 video. In today's video, we need to talk about Mike Wang and the PlayStation blog. Now, if you are living under a rock or you're not keeping up with the news, that's what I'm here for. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, hit the like button on the video. But let's go ahead and hop into the article that Mike Wang was a part of that he talked all about NBA 2K24 and its nuance of the badge system for NBA 2K24. Let's get into it. The start of the article from PlayStation is basically an introduction to who Mike Wang is, what his job is over at 2K. And, you know, you guys can read this. I will link it inside the description, of course, because, you know, sometimes I might be a little bit too hype while I'm reading and I might, you know, fumble over my words. You know, English is hard. Um, But yeah. I'm going to skip all of this because basically it's just him talking about the work that they've put in, the, the nuances that's going to be in NBA 2K24 as far as pro play and everything like that, as well as some of the things that the community have been wanting over the last couple of years and what they tried their best to do to implement in today's game coming out. Now, the big thing that I want to show you guys is this right here, man. I know I'm I know I'm skipping ahead. Listen, I'm not worried about nothing else but this paragraph right here. Now listen, I'm gonna highlight this paragraph because I might I might need y'all to to read along with me, okay? Now it says they they asked them this question: Are there any additional gameplay nuances that players might not notice at first that you want to highlight here? Now he says we haven't really announced much of it yet. But the badge game is very nuanced this year. Let's put it this way. The way you play on the court is going to reflect how your badges get shaped and how your player looks at the end of the day. So when you do something over and over again, let's say like you do spin jumpers, you're going to see your attributes as a spin jumper player improve steadily over time. And, and so you're going to find that just the way you play the game, what you like to do on the court is going to improve. You're going to kind of build your player in that aspect. So he's excited about that. He's also excited that they have a new feature in the game where you can mold your mob player on the fly as you play games. Going to be really interesting to see how that turns out. Another nuanced thing, a very nuanced thing, is probably the play calling stuff. Now, that's something that I've seen Mike Wang also tweet about on Twitter, adding the czar and the AI team about what they've actually implemented in that. And I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, he says, because that's something that's really deep in our game, it's something that a lot of people are kind of intimidated by because you're seeing real NBA playbooks. And a lot of people just don't even understand what these coaches are running. Ding, ding, ding. That is me me um what these actions even mean yes i iso Giannis all day long i don't care give me the iso please that's all i need all i want is the iso please but that's because the ai be selling my shit so hopefully 2k24 they don't sell my shit but um where did i leave off at um so we simplified a lot of it this year. We have a new feature called favorite plays, where if you just press left on the D-pad, you'll see you can choose up to 16 of the most common plays in basketball from the given goes to quick ISOs and floppies. Hey, that's me. I love me some floppies. Um, also, we have a new feature that we brought back called 2K Smart Play. If you enable that feature, basically, you can come up to court every single time, every possession. A little overlay is going to pop up and tell you basically who the best player is and what the best action for to run for that player at this point in the game. So it's a nice entry level um, way to kind of understand more nuances of just not NBA 2K, but NBA basketball. Now. Before I show you guys this Twitter post, right? A lot of people have been speculating about the way that you build your player. And the first thing that everybody uh, talks about that comes to mind is like NBA 2K17. Okay, you know, it's not just nostalgia. We know that. We know that NBA 2K16, NBA 2K17 has some very, very good ideas, some, some um, implemented things in that game that was really, really good. But... 
we also remember at that time when we were playing a game, a lot of that stuff was pissing us off. For instance, getting a certain amount of Euro steps just to, you know, build up a badge was a lot. Getting double moves. A lot of people didn't know that you had to, you could do a double move and score. Instead, people were doing double moves, trying to get assists, trying to get alley-oops, having a ton of turnovers at the end of the game, trying to get ankle breaker. So what I'm scared of is, are we going back to having to do a certain move set in order to build up a badge or from what Mike Wang is saying here, is it ever changing? For instance, he said that if you do a lot of spin jumpers, your spin jumper attribute will go up. Now, from what I remember, when I was coming up in the 2K My Player days, we used to be able to move attributes and and and, and mess with tendencies a little bit and stuff like that, down to the 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 little decimal point. It felt like. So now I'm guessing, is there an ever flowing change to these builds that will happen every single day? Like one day you might not shoot any spin jumpers. Does that mean that you can't shoot spin jumpers effectively like you did the day before? Because that's a huge thing. Because we all know as 2K players, we all have a goal in mind. And that goal is to take our players to the top notch of what it can do, what its potential is, and keep it there by any means necessary. Now, everybody remembers when there was a sliding scale from 95 to 99 and people would lose their overalls and stuff like that. People used to hate that. People used to hate having your bill be here, but could never punch through the roof and stay there because things were ever flowing. Things were ever changing. So I'm, I'm hoping to God that this isn't the case for your attributes because mike wang specifically says that if you do a lot of spin jumpers your spin jumper attribute goes up not spin jumper badge so whoo i don't i don't know because when it comes to your abilities i feel like if a person has let's say mini magician and they know that they're going to take the moving middies and stuff like that. If they put it on Hall of Fame, that's great. But for it to be, you know, ever changing every single day, depending on how well you're shooting, how you know what I mean? Stuff like that. It kind of gets me to thinking, like, what happens when somebody goes online and, and stank it up? Will that mean that it will take them two to three days to get their bill back to the way it was prior to their, their like, I guess, their slump, their shooting slump. Hey, look, all I'm saying, this is basketball terminology. So if a player is staying up 18 hours out of the day playing 2K and they happen to go on a crazy shooting slump before they get off, will that pr impact them the next day? That's, that's a crazy concept just to think about it. But... I want to see how it's implemented in 2K24. I do. We have the tweet here. Um, basically, Mike Wayne tweeted the czar and said, the czar and the AI team hooked up the new motion freelance offense for Sim Nation in 2K24. Under gameplay coach settings, you could turn offensive play vision to all plays and play vision display set to at least light. Lots of the smart action away from the ball from your team AI teammates, and he loves it. So... Whatever Mike Wang, the czar, the entire 2K dev team is doing, they're really trying to bring back that sim basketball feeling to my career, whereas though they want people to try to not cheese the computer just to get your badges, just to head to the park as soon as possible. They want people to get back into the... I, I don't want to call it nostalgia because that's not what it is. It's it's basically the feel. Just the feel of real basketball being played out there when your player, whether he's an off-the-ball player, whether he's on ball and is controlling the offense, like they want us to call plays. They want us to feel out how the offense and defense plays by using these plays. Now, like Mike Wang said, it's 16 presets that you can choose from whether it wants to be iso plays floppy plays like 
all of that. Most of the time, I know for sure, me personally, if I'm on a point guard build, I'm I'm probably using um screen and feed, or I'm doing a pick and roll, or I'm doing an ISO, or I might do a floppy here and there. Other than that, it's just me coming down court, clearing everybody out. I barely hit the smart 2K smart play ever, especially in 2K23. And my biggest thing for the last two years is my player used to get double team after scoring eight points. So it used to take away my love of the game, my love of the mode, because as soon as I come down court with eight points on the board, I instantly get double team, no matter if I was the point guard, the shooting guard, the small forward, the power forward, or the center. It didn't matter. I'm not sure if it was just me or if any other anybody else in the chat had this experience, but it happened to me quite a lot, and it used to tick me off. So that's why I'm guessing now, especially with my No Money Spent series that I want to start, I think it's definitely time for me to start calling some plays and just and being happy with not scoring 60 points per game that's the mentality that i'm gonna try to get back to especially with the no money spend series that i want to do i'm just gonna have to like I'm, I'm gonna be a 60 overall anyway right so i ain't gonna be able to do nothing anyway so you know that's 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 where i, I stand with that for sure i want to know your thoughts what do you guys think about this proposed new uh badge system aka the way you unlock in 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 make your abilities geared to the way that you play on a day-to-day -day basis and or will shooting slumps hurt that you know what i'm saying will shooting slumps hurt that let me know inside the comment sections what you guys think um let me know about all the information that you guys have been hearing um i know i know a lot of people are still mad about um my video that i made about the the the, the pro pass and the hall of fame pass. i know um go ahead go check it out it's, it's a lot to hear, a lot to listen to, and a lot to take in. Um, but I appreciate you guys for watching. I will see y'all in the next video. This is your boy IKC signing out. Peace. So what? You're just gonna put your iPod on shuffle? It's on my iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K, and I keep making bang. Bitch, I'm my iPod. I am the greatest. I am the king of 2K, and I keep making bang. Every single song you own is a banger.